Hi everyone, welcome to our latest video. Pleased to be able to show you this afternoon this rather lovely Kawasaki Versus 1000 GT. Now this bike is a 2016 16 plate and she's covered just 5,880 miles from new. Presented in what can only be described as immaculate condition. She's had one owner from you, David, who's recently part exchanged the bike for something a little bit, little bit more rugged, Triumph Tiger 1200 XC. And I think when we take you around the bike and show you some close-ups, you'll see that, uh, that David has looked after this bike incredibly well. So what is the Versus 1000 GT? Well, it's the top of the range Versus. And it shares the same 1043cc engine that we find in other Kawasaki Z models, um, namely the Z1000 uh, naked bike, and of course the Z1000 SX Sports Tourer. It's actually a cracking engine. You get the uh, you get the refinement um, of a four-cylinder engine, the smoothness of the four-cylinder engine, but uh, still plenty of RPM to play with and uh, plenty of low-down torque as well. Now, MCN claim 118 brake horsepower. For this engine in this bike but i have to say to me that feels like an, an, an underestimate because when you ride this bike for a, for a bike that's weighing in at 250 kilos um, it can certainly still hustle So basically the GT being the, uh, as I say, the, the upper end of the, uh, the Versus market uh, comes with the usual things that you would expect. Comes with ABS and Kawasaki KTRC, which is the traction control. So we've got factory ABS and three stage traction control. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the GT also comes with these auxiliary riding stroke fog lamps which I have to say are quite impressive when uh, when one of these rolls up in your rear view mirror if you're driving a car um, and it's got all its lights illuminated it certainly is an encouragement to, to get out of the way <coughs> so it comes with the uh, auxiliary fog lights we've got hand guards both sides it's the switch there for the auxiliary lamps heated grips and this really nice three-part Kawasaki luggage now as you can see the luggage on this bike is in absolutely immaculate condition as is the rest of the bike it's quite rare because from our experience panniers do tend to get kicked and scuffed more often than not. But as I say, David certainly knows how to ride a bike and I think he knows how to look after one as well. And the final thing that's standard on the Versus GT is these uh, crash bars or engine bars however you want to describe them that are mounted directly onto the frame so if the worst was to happen and the bike was to go over then uh, that should save some, some uh, substantial damage and you'll also see we've got an adjustable screen there as well we just literally just turn the uh, well, a bit stiff but turn the knurled wheel on both sides and that will allow us to move the, uh, the screen up and down depending on your height. Okay we'll do some close-ups for you. As you can see she's finished in the, uh, the silver grey which is a much more conservative and uh, uh, difficult to describe really but it's a really nice colour but for those of you that don't like the, uh, the garishness of um, Kawasaki lime green 
it's a, a nice subtle and conservative option and as you can see on the front there there's not even not even a stone chip to mention the front mud guard and you can also see down there to the uh, exhaust downpipes and as an accessory this one's also fitted with a power bronze radiator guard so completely unmarked body panels here down to the uh, clutch casing. Even the heel guards and the exhaust heat shield. Everything's completely blemish free. It's a really lovely example and a, an absolute credit to David. You see they've got the contrasting black tank which again is completely blemish free, there's no scratches nicely protected by this large um, versus tank cover there, tank uh, protector and that fantastic pillion seat there, it's actually been voted one of the most comfortable uh, pillion bikes you can buy and I have to say these are fantastic value brand new um, at um, I think some eleven and a half thousand. So, you know, we we feel that uh, as a used bike, certainly a, a late low mileage used bike, these offer fantastic value for money. Now the luggage is an absolute bonus, really. It's so easy to get on and off, and we will just briefly show you that if I can just grab the key from the ignition. We literally just turn the key, pull up that little lever there and pull back and there you can see so it's frameless luggage which um, the previous model of Versus um, uh, was unable to offer that uh, that kept the the metal frames on the bike um, after the luggage was removed so I'm just going to put this one back in the showroom for a second excuse the and we'll show you this one as well. A little bit stiff. There you go. Again, we'll just put that one back. Oh. Sorry about the uh, camera there, guys. So as you can see, for those of you that would use this bike as a commuter, nice and easy to remove the panniers if you want to make it a little bit narrower for uh, scything through traffic. And whilst we won't take it off for the purposes of the video, as you can see, you've got a nice big top box there, which will take uh, two full face helmets. And it gives us a chance to do some close-ups now as well. Starting off with the wheels. Kawasaki wheels have certainly come on a long way over the last uh, few years. Remember the early ZX6Rs and the early ZX9Rs where the paint would peel off within a couple of years. And these are built really well nowadays. Do some close-ups in there as well. You can see the the rear shock. And even the uh, back of the engine there. So it's clearly been, for the most part, I would say, a fair weather bike. There's very little tarnishing or uh, or wet weather uh, residue anywhere on this bike. 
I think that's shown in its uh, overall condition. Again, you can see left hand engine casing there. No marks at all. Okay, so we'll start her up for you now. Really nice, clear and concise instrument panel. You see it do its self check. And you'll also see down there we've got the, uh, well it's standard on a GT, but optional on other Versys. That's the, uh, the gear indicator. And you can probably see on the instrument panel there We've got the uh, usual stuff at the top, the neutral light, ABS light, and engine light. And then we have the power modes here, which we can adjust for full power or low power. And then we can also adjust the traction control level. We can turn the traction control off. Traction control one, two, or three. So they're different levels of interference and you can see the mileage there is confirmed at 5880. Okay, I'm just going to fire up for you so you can hear that standard exhaust. While we're up the front you can also see you've got a 12 volt socket there for uh, plugging in your, either your sat nav or heated gloves, heated um, vests. See the Oxford heated grips there, we'll put them up to 100. You can see we've got adjustable front forks as well. For preload and uh, compression and rebound. Just while we're waiting for it to warm up a little bit, we'll just do another walk round. I think it's a cracking looking bike and um, I know bikes are very subjective but um, in my opinion I think I think if anyone was interested in a Z1000SX a Sport Tourer but they actually took the time to road test the Versus as well I actually think most people would plump for the Versus now, I don't know whether Versus is uh, and an acronym for versatile I'm not sure but it really is a versatile bike and a really good looking bike as well I mean back in 2015 Kawasaki gave it a complete facelift um, I don't think there's any denying that the uh, the original Versus was was not the uh, the prettiest of bikes but with this full full facelift with um, headlights that are akin to uh, the Super Sport range, you know, the ZX6 and ZX, ZX10. It gives it a much more sporty look, but more than capable of whisking you and your pillion, not just to work, but uh, across Europe if you fancy it. So just give that throttle a bit. It's really cold out here today, so I assure you that what's coming out of the exhaust is. Uh, condensation and uh, not smoke. There you have it, just a brief walk around and start up of our Kawasaki Versus 1000 GT. She's a 2016 66 plate with 5,880 miles, full service history, two, two services with Kawasaki and an intermediate service just carried out by ourselves. And this bike's available at 8495. I hope you enjoyed the video.